Um, so my name is Dennis Foley. Uh, I'm a councillor here uh, in the city, as most of you, if not all of you, already know. I'm also the president of the Northern Manitoba Off-Road Association. So some of the things we're going to be talking about today is the motocross park, uh, motocross track, the off-road park, multi-use park that we have about uh, 19 kilometers south of Thompson. Uh, some people might know it as the old stock car track. Other people might know it as a motocross track. Uh, it's been called many things over the course of years, depending on uh, how long you've lived here and, and when, what you remember from it. Um, so I'll just go through a couple introductions. We do have, uh, I just want to say thank you to the city of Thompson. We've got uh, Mayor Fenske here. Uh, we've got Deputy Chief Borgon. We've got Sonia Wiseman from Public Safety. And we've got uh, Blake Ellis, uh, Councillor. So the, the city was great to help us out with this and provide us with the location to have this meeting. Um, there's been a lot of discussion with uh, off-road usage within the city of Thompson in the last uh, couple of months especially, but over the last couple of years. Um, so with the Northern Manitoba Off-Road Association on the back there, uh, the gentleman, uh, Raymond, if you want to stand up. Uh, that's Raymond Compton. He is the treasurer, vice president, and he's been with the Northern Manitoba Off-Road Association since we started off. In back in 2009. So we're going to start off with kind of like a broad stroke of what the Northern Manitoba Off-Road Association is, what we've been doing and what we plan to do and then we're going to jump right into the motocross um, and you guys will kind of get a good idea as we go. If I can just get somebody to hit the light for me that'd be great that we can see. Right. Now, I haven't made a PowerPoint presentation since I was in high school so really bear with me here. Uh, if I can get my clicker to work. Okay, so like I said, we are the Northern Manitoba Off-Road Association. Uh, we've got a couple of clips here from uh, the last couple of years. So the big, gotta, we're going to be ask, answering a couple of questions. Who we are, what we do, uh, when and how did the Northern Manitoba Off-Road Association begin, uh, what, type of, what type of events we've hosted, uh, where have we hosted these events. Um, where and what is the off-road park, which is something that we'll get into when we actually start talking about the motocross track. Uh, and why is the off-road park important to Thompson? Uh, and that's one that I want to really stress because I think it's very important on for a lot of different reasons. Um, so who and what is the Northern Manitoba Off-Road Association? Uh, we're a group of people that we host uh, off-road racing events. Uh, currently, we've got five members on the governing board. Uh, we've had more throughout the years. Um, there's myself, the president, that handsome man right there. Vice President Treasurer, Raymond Compton. And I think that's after he hit me with a muddy sock that one year, so. Uh, we got a couple other guys that help out. Uh, Brent King, uh, during our races, he's known as the pit boss. He's the guy that organizes everybody in the pit and gets all the racers going. We got Kenneth Wark, who's uh, been a racer. He's been racing, I think, since the first time we've held an event. And then we got Kelly Kapichuk, who is uh, a key role in the uh, getting everything going, and he's been a racer for a couple of years, too. So what do we do? Uh, very simple. We like to play in the mud. Uh, well, too much clicking here. So we mud bog. I mean, that's pretty much what we've been doing for the last couple of years. Uh, the locations that we've had here is uh, all these pictures look like they were taken behind the ball diamonds behind the uh, uh, Sankster field. Uh, we host mud bogs. We've hosted a few other events too as well. Uh, our main focus has been most hosting the mud bogs for trucks, ATVs, and side by sides. However, um, we've been doing a couple other things. So back in 2009, um, how it all started, uh, entered a, myself, I entered in a mud bog, uh, stock class in my old 98 Sierra. Uh, had so much fun, came in third place, I thought it was the greatest thing in the world, I just took my, my truck from the road into the pit, came in third, got a shiny medal, and off we went. Unfortunately, sad face, the group disbanded, there was no more mud bogs. Um, so the reason why I got kind of this in here is because uh, this is possible and all these events that we do is from local businesses and the money that we get and the, the support. So I had the idea and I wanted to do this again because I had so much fun and it was actually local businesses and business owners that were pushing me to keep going. So gathered a couple of my friends um, and I have a saying and it's, it's true and I've said it many times whether I've got my city councilor hat on or I've got my uh, community hat on is if you want something to happen you got to make it happen. Don't just sit there and talk about it, get out there and do it. Uh, so a few of us, we, uh, with uh, my friend's support and the generous support of uh, local businesses, we made it happen. And to date, we've held seven annual mud bogs, and that's ones where the big trophies and stuff like that. 
we've had one mud, mud mayhem race event that was over by the Norplex pool. We actually uh, shut down the road there and it was good. Uh, we did a fundraiser, we called a mud raiser, and that was what we did to generate the income to pay a lot of the back fees from the, uh, the old motocross track to take over the, uh, the 15 acre piece of land. Uh, we've also done two snowmobile freestyle events. Um, we've worked with a local group, uh, some of you guys may know them as Live Ammo. Uh, we've had a couple people from uh, out of town and we've even had professional riders come up and perform. Uh, so we've done this next to Norplex pool behind the VRCC uh, and at the off-road park. The snowmobile events have always been in the football field uh, next to the VRCC. Some of the big questions that we have, what is the and a Northern Manitoba off-road station off-road park? Where is it? What can we do there? Okay, so I kind of jumped ahead a little bit. Can you back me up? Just Okay, so this is an overhead shot of the park. Uh, we're missing a little bit here down on the bottom. So the whole piece of land is about 15 acres. Now you can see on the top there, you've got kind of an oval. That's the old stock car track. So when you go out there, you can clearly see where the people have been racing. You can actually still see uh, there's parts of vehicles and old uh, trucks and stuff like that that are buried into the ground too. Uh, so what happened is a couple of years later after that group had disbanded there was a group of people um, who decided that they want to use the grounds for a motocross track and that's where you see up top there the cutting in and out and I think in total it's almost like a kilometer and a half. Yeah uh, it's it's a it's a it's 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 really long it's uh, yeah yeah so it's longer than any other motocross track in Manitoba. Um, that group did a lot of work, they had a lot of help with uh, the community, um, but unfortunately sometimes there's the same people doing everything over and over again, so it kind of fell wayside. That's where we step in. So the other spot there too is if you look down right in here, this area right here, so that's where we host our mud bumps. So we do that with a 200 foot pit. We, when we decided that we wanted to have the mud bogs here and have the track, we wanted to make sure that we weren't taking away from the property. We wanted to make sure that it's multi-use. I uh, might have to click on the big screen if you can. So this red area here, that's the area that we're going to be allocating um, as of right now for the mud bog area. Now I know some of the guys that currently ride the motocross track, they're looking at that table and they're, um, this piece here and they're probably getting a little sad. Um, this is what the proposed area that we're using right now. Nothing is set in stone, but the big thing is we want to show everybody that the space that they use so that we can start doing some more planning. This green area down here is currently used by the snowmobile and motocross freestyle guys. So they've got a little compound set up there with some ramps and uh, landing and they've got a shack there. Um, and they're out there all the time practicing before they do the, the shows in town. So up on the right hand side, uh, up in this area, we want to build and develop a, uh, an ATV obstacle course, kind of like a challenge course. So for all the guys that are out quadding and, um, you know, basically the end game is if you have a membership, you can come out here and you can run through the obstacle course. And with that area, we can change that on a semi-regular or however, like the, the, the options are endless really. So that leaves us to, the big blue purplish area in there, that's where we're going to put the motocross track. So for the guys out here that are using the track, as you can see, we're not taking away a whole lot. There's still lots of room to develop in there. And as you can see, in here too, there's a lot of open space that hasn't been used. So instead of making it a really long track, we're going to make it a, it, we want it to be a little bit shorter, some tighter turns, and make it so it's usable for all age groups, whether you're a beginner, you're a teenager, you're an adult, what have you. So we've still got a lot more room here uh, as, as far as the park goes. Over here, just a kind of point of reference, this is the uh, rail bed, uh, the, the old uh, bank rail bed. There's still a significant amount of space out here leading towards the highway that we have, and then, um, which would be going north, but down here we've got some more property that we have as well, the, the road kind of wraps around. Click on the big screen. Okay, so the current uses right now is we've done uh, one year of mud bogging with trucks and ATVs, the snowmobile guys and the motor freestyles boat there, and there's been limited use of the motocross track. 
Um, up until recent, there hasn't been any insurance out there liability-wise. Um, we have uh, taken over and paid that liability insurance. However, it's still not at this very moment open to the public. So that's why we're having this meeting is because we want to get people engaged to uh, start their motocross club. So we want to talk about uh, other things that we want to see happen at the off-road park. We've got 15 acres. So we want to see other things happen. We want to see, uh, I, always, I always bring up, uh, you guys have seen uh, Wolfstock or if you've been there. We have a huge piece of land. We can do a weekend festival or an overnight festival. Don't have to worry about the noise bylaws or any of that other fun stuff. We have an absolute great time. We have the space for that. We'll never be as big as like the, the Country Fest and Dauphin, but who's to say we can't have five or six bands playing all night long and uh, just have a great time. Whether it be during a mud bog event or a motocross event, we've got that capability. Can you click me? So obviously, we're, because we're here to talk about the motocross, so that's there as well. Um, I talked briefly about the ATV obstacle course, uh, the mud bogging, and this is actually a picture that was taken last year from our mud bog pit. Another really neat thing that I want to point out when we talk about multi-use facility is everybody, we have a lot of people who go down south for these mud runs for the, uh, the, the tough run competitions. Well, we now have a 15 acre piece of land that we can do that up here. So Northern Manitoba now has the uh, location to host that if we can find a group that can champion it. And that's, when we talk about, you know, the one question we had, why is this par park good to Thompson? From a city councilor perspective, all of this leads to hotel stays. People who are coming up here from out of town, they're going to stay at our hotels, they're going to eat at our restaurants, uh, they're going to shop at our stores. So why would we want, and I'll say uh, there's probably a couple hundred people that from Thompson who go down to the Winnipeg Beach Mud Run, why do we want them to go down there when we've got a spot where they can do it here? And then we can bring people from other communities. So there's also, Raymond, if you can click me again here. And of course, there's the freestyle guys there. Um, so the motocross club, which is the reason why we, we started this. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why we want to get the uh, motocross club going. Is right now, there's nowhere for you guys to ride your bikes. It sucks. Um, so we want to provide you with that spot. It is currently accessible by dirt bike. So if you don't have a truck to take it out there, there is a well-beaten trail that rides along Highway 6. At one point, you will have to cross over the highway to get to Jonas Road, and then the rail bed will take you all the way out there. Um, sorry, click me again. Um, as far as the name goes, it, whatever the group comes up with, uh, Norman Motocross Association, if you want to take over the Thompson Motocross Club, that's fine too. Click me again, sorry. So we have the land, now what do we do? So we need to get a group of dedicated, hardworking people together. Um, and this is key, because this isn't going to happen overnight. This isn't going to be given to anybody. Um, we've spent with our off-road club the last, uh, since 2009, we've put a lot of blood, sweat and tears into uh, making the events happen, acquiring this property, coming up with the funds. Um, a lot of connections, dealing with local businesses, it, it's not easy. But the, the payoff, you ask anybody who's raced in the mud bogs, is well worth it. Because to be able to have this location right now and go out there, uh, like we're set up. If we wanted to, say, next weekend host a mud bog, we have that ability. If we want that for the motocross. You know, if you want to host a race and have a good time, well, let's set it up for next Saturday. So we've got to create a board consisting of around five people, um, and that's a loose number. Uh, one being a member of the, the Northern Manitoba Opera Association, whether that be myself, the president, or another one of the members. Um, now the reason why we want to do that is because we want to register the group as a nonprofit organization with the province. Now right now the Northern Manitoba Opera Association is registered as a nonprofit organization, which really helps out when we're doing our fundraising. We don't have a charity number as of yet, we're not too sure if we can get into that. Uh, but there are other avenues uh, we can tie into uh, when we're looking for grants. So we want to build a membership, work in developing the track through fundraising and volunteer work, and most importantly, want to ride, race, and have a good time. Um, the payoff, like I say, guys, it's, it's, it's going to be worth it. So with the track the way it is right now, if you click me. Uh, so, okay, so we'll go into this. What will be the responsibility of the, motor, of, of the motocross club? And we kind of touched into that on the previous slide here, but as I said, to design and build a motocross club, uh, we got to maintain the track. It, it's fantastic to build it, 
but if it doesn't get maintained, no one's going to be able to ride it. Someone's going to get hurt, and we're going to have issues. Click me. Uh, fundraising to cover the yearly insurance fees, creating a membership for riders to use the track. Uh, one member of the motocross club will actually then sit on the uh, board for the Northern Manitoba Off-Road Association because, so you can have your voice be heard. Uh, promote safe and fun riding. Uh, and the key thing is, is because this is a multi-use facility, we have to make sure that everybody respects other areas of the off-road park. So as far as the truck guys go, they're going to keep off the track. As far as the track guy goes, they're going to keep off of the freestyle area unless you're invited there. Um, that's very important. Everybody respects other, everybody else as part of, part of the track. Click me there, Raymond. Uh, so that being said, uh, what's the role of the Northern Manitoba Offroad Association with the motocross club? So we currently hold the lease, sorry, it's not a lease, it's a permit uh, to the 15 acre land and we'll be involved in all changes to the property. And the reason being is because whenever we do any alterations to the property, we have to report back to the LGD and get approval. So. It's not that we're here to say, no, you can do this, or, no, you, or yes, you can do that. We want to work with you, uh, with, the, with the club, uh, report back to the LGD. Once we get that approval, then we can, um, you know, start moving ground around, or if we got to remove a spot of trees, then we have that ability as well. Um, the Northern Manitoba Off-Road Association will also be fundraising all the time, not just for the mud bogs, but we want to fundraise for the, for the park as well. So... Hypothetically, if we apply for a grant for a certain dollar amount and we get, get it approved, then we look at the, the needs as the property as a whole. Uh, right now, one of our needs is bleachers. We need bleachers. Well, bleachers are good for any event that we have out there. So that's something that where we get the bleachers, well, the freestyle guys can use the, have usage of the bleachers, the mud bogs, the motocross track. If we have live entertainment out there, the bleachers. So we, we want to make sure that everybody benefits from monies that are coming in. We don't want it to be just this group fighting against that group because really you're not going to get anywhere that way. Uh, so that being said, one member of the off-road club will uh, sit on the motocross club board as well. Uh, okay, so pretty much done here, but I just kind of want to go over the land here again. Um, the, a lot of work's got to go into it, and from what I see right now with the track, if... Uh, I was to move ground around right now to get things kind of happening a little earlier is I'd love to see this club get started quickly and even just kind of connecting some of those spots just to make something rideable and then we work on developing uh, a track for future usage. Because um, realistically with the right amount of equipment and the right amount of people and you have a really good work party you can get a lot of stuff done. Uh, Dave with the, uh, with the Live Ammo Group has done, uh, and a few other people have done so much with this area here, um, so he knows what I'm talking about. You get a bobcat out there, you can get a dozer out there, you can make a lot of stuff happen. So as of right now, with the, with the, it's already designed as a motocross track, so I believe we can alter the motocross track without having to worry about uh, too much red tape with the LGD, because that's already what it's there for. Um, and we're just moving it around, we're not cutting down trees or anything like that. So like I said, uh, this area here, we're looking at uh, keeping for the mud bog area. And we have our event. Most of our parking is within this area here. Um, the actual skate or the, the pit for the mud bogs are right here. That's already in there. It's already done. That's already secured. Up in here is where we want to build the, uh, the ATV um, option course and, of course, freestyle and then the um, There was a lot of controversy, a lot of things were said when, the, when, the, when this club took over this permit. Uh, a lot of people thought that we were going to be losing the motocross track and that we were, you know, kicking the guys out. That's absolutely not the case. When we first took over this, I said from day one that as a mud bog pit, this will not work. The only way this piece of property will be able to stand the test of time is if we get multiple users in here and get everybody involved and everybody working on it. So the, the mud boggers, we have our space. We want the motocross guys to have their space, freestyle, ATVs. We do, you know, when poker derbies happen, this, this, we want this to be the destination. So, you know, like there's a couple of dealerships here in town that uh, do poker derbies on a regular basis. The snowmobile club, they do their poker derbies. We want this to be their destination. You know, we want to use this for live entertainment because we've got the perfect area here. When I'm talking about live entertainment, this whole area right here Parking 
So here's the email address, normanoffroad at gmail.com. Take your phones out, snap a picture. Um, if you have questions or if you really want to get involved or if you know somebody who wants to get involved, give them that email address. Um, we have the Northern Manitoba Offroad Association has a Facebook page. There will be, as of tonight, I will make it live, the Northern Manitoba Motocross Association will have an actual Facebook page, so I'll open that up and people can jump in there and start throwing out ideas. If you want to get involved on the board and you want to make things happen, uh, let me know, uh, let Raymond know. Standing in the back is uh, Kelly Kapichuk, uh, we talked about him earlier. Uh, let him know and we will uh, we'll definitely start making stuff happen. Just gonna, wanna flip the lights there, Kelly? Okay, so that being said, uh, do we have any questions at the, at the moment? You guys gotta have some questions. Absolutely. Um, one of the things that I, I'm an advocate for off-road safety, um, just myself and, and through the, uh, the recreation and public safety with uh, the city. Um, I'm actually working on developing, uh, with the help of Sonia Wiseman, um, an actual trail system within the city of Thompson. So a place where riders can go. Um, I've been in communication with uh, MPI, Manitoba Public Insurance, and one of the suggestions that I had is they do a, a motorbike safety course. Well, I've asked them if they have anything in the line of an off-road uh, safety, um, you know, stuff like that. And, and it's not necessarily to talk about where you can and can't ride, but it's, it's all about, you know, what type of helmets are used, uh, who and what age group are allowed to operate some of these machines, and then where. Um, we've, uh, as far as I'll put my City of Thompson uh, councillor hat on, uh, we've addressed some concerns in, uh, in an area that you're familiar with. Uh, we've started to put up some signs and some, uh, some jersey barriers. I'll be very honest with you. My idea is those Jersey barriers, I don't want them to stay there very long. It's kind of an attention getter right now that uh, they're there, let's start redirecting. So we're gonna see more of those signs throughout the whole city, that's, that's the, the goal. Um, as far as uh, other steps that we've uh, done with the city of Thompson, um, uh, just wanna say thank you again, city of Thompson for helping us with this. Um, just so everybody knows, the city of Thompson did not buy that piece of land that was brought up on social media that somebody thought that that was the case. That's not the case at all. Um, the city just understands that uh, from our perspective as a, as a public safety is that uh, we want to, people aren't going away with the dirt bikes, so we need to point them in a direction where they can go and ride them. So that's why motocross club is important to Thompson. That's why the, mo the off-road park is important to Thompson. So even if you're not somebody who rides a motorcycle or uh, the dirt bike or what have you, you can still get involved. Um, we, uh, with the MPI, as I explained, I, I'm hoping that I get back from one of the managers in Winnipeg soon because the whole off-road safety is, is definitely an issue. And uh, it's not something that we've taken lightly at all. Um, we've uh, had a couple of, couple of incidents happened and there was uh, some action taken by both our, the RCMP. The RCMP have been paying visits to, uh, to people who they've seen uh, riding in town inappropriately. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is the way, if you can go back to the park there, Raymond, if you go back a couple of slides. Um, with this off-road park, this is a way for us to embrace that culture. The off-road culture, the, the, you know, we've got business owners here who sell this product. And the last thing that they want to see is the bylaw in town where we have to trailer it from the dealership to your home, trailer it from your home to a trail. We don't want that. I don't want that. I ride an ATV. Uh, that's the last thing that I want to see. Um, so with this, this is the off Northern Manitoba Opera Association is, is providing that, uh, that stage uh, to, and that, uh, that environment where, you know, you guys want to go out, 
have a barbecue, ride out there, spend the whole weekend, by all means, go to town. That's what we want. Um, and then the other thing too, uh, a question that I got asked uh, earlier was, uh, what are the membership fees going to be? That'll vary. Um, the insurance that we pay is a, is a certain amount. I don't know, you guys okay with me dropping numbers on our insurance? Yeah, like that, the, the top dollar will always be the same. So the liability insurance for this property is about $3,800. So right now that's got to get split up between the two current users that are using it. We get the motocross club out there and now we got three user groups that are using it. So the more people that use this uh, property, that cost kind of goes down. And that'll kind of dictate what your membership fees are going to be as well. Um, realistically, I mean, um, hypothetically, I'll throw out a number, like, I'd love it for guys to be able to say, you know what, 50 bucks a year, you get a card and you can go out there and ride it whenever you want. I mean, that's, to me, that'd be great. That's 50 bucks well worth. I know when the motocross club was running, I think it was, what, a couple hundred bucks, guys? Yeah, around 250 bucks. And even that, as, as a parent of a, of a teenager, uh, I would have no problem spending that money so he could take his bike out here and ride out here whenever he wants type deal. Any other questions? We, so the question, I don't know if you're able to pick it up, Paul, on the camera. So the question asked is, are we gonna have anything out there for fuel? Uh, we're not gonna store anything out there. Um, so the, uh, it does, you're definitely gonna wanna have a couple of people go out there and, or plan ahead. Uh, that being said, uh, as far as the motocross club goes, if you guys were to generate enough income where you want to purchase a storage container and stuff like that and have some things out there, that's absolutely within the realm of possibility. Uh, I know for the motocross club or for the off-road park, that's something that we talked about. Like we, we don't want to keep hauling out the lawnmowers and all that other stuff out there. We'd like to be able to keep it there. So um, there's definitely that, uh, that's not something that is an absolute no, but when you're storing fuel, we'd have to look into the proper ways to store fuel with, uh, within uh, uh, to a conservation um, for that stuff. Any other questions? Uh, right now there is no membership cost because right now the, technically the park isn't open to the public. So right now as of 7 o'clock there really is no motocross club. So that's where we're here to start. So we're basically we're here looking for people to sign up and get involved, spread the word. Uh, I'll be doing this presentation again uh, Wednesday next week at the Meridian for the Chamber of Commerce uh, to let the local businesses know what we're doing and uh, get a little bit more, uh, more interest. Uh, big thanks to Shaw for coming out for recording it. So that's going to be aired. So um, we're hoping that the, uh, realistically, we probably won't have an actual club formed until I'm hoping going into the fall at the, the very latest. So, and the big thing is with the club, age isn't a thing. So, you know, you guys are pretty young guys. I mean, if you guys want to get involved, just because you're young doesn't mean you can't get involved. The, you guys are probably going to be the ones using it the most. Um, so we want your feedback in order to make this happen. So uh, as far as the Northern Manitoba Opera Association with the mud boggers, we've never really done the membership thing. We tried it once again. So far, all that we've really done is host races. Um, but we want to be able to expand on that to have just open days with the pit and stuff like that. There's more stuff that in the discussion for that. Any other questions? Okay, uh, we'll jump back to the, a couple slides there, so the email address is on there. So on the back next to you, Kelly, there is a, a couple pieces of paper. Those are the current off-road vehicle bylaws in the city of Thompson. Grab one of those. Uh, read it, respect it. Um, jump at me if I misspeak because I'm about to talk some the city side stuff. Um, currently, with the, um, the way the, the way the off-road vehicle uh, are we're approaching it within the city of Thompson, the RCP have a lot of leniency with us. Uh, when I say leniency, I live on Deerwood Drive. If I need to get to a trail, I actually have to shoulder um, down Wolf. I have to cross a set of lights at Thompson Drive and I gotta go down Ossawagan to get there. If an RCMP passes me and I'm driving at a, at a decent speed and I'm wearing full protection, I will not get stopped. However, the wheelies, you will get stopped, your picture will get taken, and the big thing that people need to realize is just because you didn't get caught on that street doesn't mean you're not gonna get caught a couple of days later. Everyone always thinks that, oh, I got away from the cops and 
they're not going to chase you, but they know who you are. And let's face it, all of our helmets, all of our gear that we ride is very um, personalized. So, <laughs> so the you can get from point A to point B safely with your off-road vehicle, your ATV, and your dirt bike um, on the shoulder of the road access trails as much as possible and, and as I said earlier we're going to be looking at uh, providing the uh, map for those access trails so we can limit the amount of time spent on the pavement. Um, just be respectful, uh, stay off of uh, properties uh, that are clearly marked with school zones, doesn't matter what it is, if it's got a motor it's not allowed on there unless it's operated by the school district um, and just overall be respectful as long as we can do that then we'll be able to embrace our culture, the off-road culture a little bit more and go forward. Like the end game, like when we talk about the maps and stuff like that and uh, the trail breakers, like such a good job that they've done in the last, you know, many years is that they've actually made restaurants and hotels accessible via snowmobile. Well, why can't we have that with ATVs? You know, you get a group of people riding and you want to go to Tim Hortons for, for a coffee, there's a huge parking lot. That's all possible as long as we are respectful, we pay attention to the laws and we're not doing the wheelies and cutting in and out of traffic and, you know, I'll be honest, driving like a jerk. Uh, so that being said, uh, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, if you have any questions, northernmanoffroad at gmail.com. Check out our Facebook page. And if you got a chance at noon on Wednesday at the Meridian Hotel, we'll be doing this presentation and I'll have a couple other things added in there. And uh, we'll... Uh, if you want to get involved in the club, let me know and we'll make it happen. Thanks, guys.